Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave video. Well, this is uh, Friday today, Friday the 2nd of February, and it's my midweek shave a little bit late. <laughs> We've had some little bit of drama during the middle of the week, but uh, that's no problems. We're still here, and uh, let's get on with the shave. We're doing an Aussie shave today. Aussie Soap Shave Araminta from Whispers from the Woods That's Whispers from the Woods, they're from New South Wales uh, and they actually put the um, scent profile on the side there so it's Spearmint, Lavender and Vetiver main scent ingredients that's poor it's a uh, uh, softish soap like normal vegetable 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 soap so, and the brush we're going to use comes from Lego Brushworks It's called Valencia, a lovely handle, as I always get with the uh, Australian artisans. And in there, I've got an unusual knot, not, not, you don't see many of them. It's the Motherlode knot. It's a super soft knot, very luxurious. A bit like a, um, a lady's, uh, what do you call makeup brush. That's how soft it is. So we'll stick that in my mug to get wet. And what else are we using there? We're going with the, the standard Whispers from the Woods lathering bowl. And we'll get it on and put the pre-shave on, which is going to be the Natio Smooth Shave Gel again. Can't be much left. Just wet the face. Oh, well, I didn't say what the razor is on. Just hang on, we'll get to that one. Put the pre-shave on first. Slippery stuff, it's pretty hard to get off the hands. Okay. Alright then, we're here at Overhead Cam. As you can see, I've got the razor, the shield razor here. Just to show you what it looks like. I'll take it apart. It's all aluminium. CNC machined. It's got rectangular slots. Torco blade. Lovely, oh, yeah. and you can see it's clamped down right to the edge of the blade. Well, as far as it can go until it goes past the reveal. So we just put the blade in there. Slot that on. It's got a nice long thread on it, which I like, especially for the aluminium ones. And as you can see, it's got a decent reveal on it. So it's going to be slightly aggressive, I would think. Okay, here's the soap. Ready to go. There's um, a quarter of a rounded... Uh, say that again. A rounded quarter teaspoon of soap squashed in there. So I'll just get my brush. Squeeze and shake. I'm 
good start. Okay, we're back from making that lovely ladder. Look at it. Lovely and shiny. Beautiful. And the scent is what we expect, a minty, in, minty, slightly floral, and um, sort of a, a greenish, earthy background to it. That's what I get. It's a lovely scent. Very fresh too. Uh, I'll re wet the face. Put a little bit of alum on my fingers. Let's put this lovely leather. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Oh, this knot is so soft. looking for a super soft knot I don't think you can get anything think, softer than a mother load Experiment chewing gum, that's what it smells like, a little bit like that, but a bit more earthy. Uh, Alright, let's get the razor wet. We've got a solid three days growth because uh, I was going to shave yesterday, but uh, things got a bit hectic. Yeah, because uh, on Wednesday, I went to pick up my wife from the, uh, the airport, which is uh, from here, it's about a hundred and just over a hundred kilometers, 110, I think. After waiting all day, because uh, the flight had been delayed a couple of times.
So that was all right. Um, there's no drama at the airport or anything. And then about um, 20 k's from home, wham, we hit a kangaroo. Jumped out in front of me, couldn't avoid it. On the highway doing 110 kilometers an hour. So, Got the car booked in on Monday for some repairs. I don't think it's affected any steering or anything. It's just all the plastic at the front end. It's all smashed up. It's a wonderful leather too. Look at that, very shiny. And it's super soft. It's the only mother load brush that I have. Right across the green. Now I did shave on Tuesday with this razor. But I used the Nasset blade and I found, I felt it was a little bit aggressive. So I took down to the Dorco, which is a slightly milder blade. Let's see how it goes. So far it feels um, better. It's certainly knocking down the beard pretty quickly. Very nice. Plenty of slickness in that soap. You can see the shine on it. I don't know whether you can see it, pick it up or not. Soft knot certainly makes a lovely leather though. And when you put it on the face, it's, <laughs> it's so soft and gentle. <laughs> Pull my pants up, they're falling down. Just put a little bit more alum on my fingers. Let's against the green pass. Just puffing the cheeks out to stretch, uh, stretch the skin. Especially 
especially as you get older, your skin gets a little, uh, what do you call, slack. And you get wrinkles in it. So don't blow the cheek out, you'll hit the wrinkles and uh, get nicks. So I'm right in the cap a little bit. I think I already, uh, yeah, a little nick there, I think. I can certainly feel the blade. Doing a good job though. Certainly knocking it down. There's a couple of weepers here and there, I think. There's one just there. Let's fill around. Yeah, a little bit on the chin, on the jawline as normal. A little bit around the bottom of the neck, but we'll be very careful down there. Cheeks are pretty good. Bad on the moustache. Okay. Moisten her up for the final touch up pass. Still lovely. Just very light. Just stretching the skin now, I'm pushing the skin down here, we'll stretch the skin. Very lightly. Doing a good job though. Look at that, another week, a couple of weeks there. So I'll we'll leave it at that. Weepers are starting to come. Once I start getting weepers, I normally stop. 
prevents any major irritation. Other than that, it's pretty good shape. Right, let's rinse that off. Just a couple of weepers. One, two, three, maybe four. All right then, we'll rinse that off. If I don't rinse the alum off, um, it can uh, muck up the the leather when I put it on my face. Which I'm doing now. Plenty there for another, at least one more pass, maybe two. Very shiny. Okay, we'll put this on my face. As a moisturizer and enjoy the lovely fresh minty scent. Now I'm going to my shower and come back for the post shave. Okay, we're back from that shower and well, very close shave. Very smooth, no irritations after the shower, and the weavers seem to have sealed up. All right then, let's get to and put the pre-shave on. We're going with the Imperial Bergamot with some menthol crystals. Nice. Nice fresh scent. Good summer one. Aftershave balm, also from Natio, calming aftershave balm, which is a, also a, a lemon scented. See, and that's running down. Very nice. Okay, the final ingredient it needs a bit of a shake. Here's the Blue Devil Peppermint Patch. Hmm, wonderful. This 
more of a uh, woody scent to it, so sort of mint and wood. Slightly oil texture it, but you can't get it anymore anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Lucky to have it really. It soaks in very nicely. Very cooling, it's got the menthol on it as well. So I use it pretty sparingly. I'll make that last a few years. Alright, that's my shave today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers!